happy days are here again what i'm going to be doing today guys is showing you how to set up a gopro 5 hero black onto a motorcycle helmet with audio to do a really basic moto vlogger setup so what i've been seeing is a couple different videos on youtube from other moto vloggers that have been trying to set this thing up but nothing really i don't know but really great people are still trying to figure this out i'm still figuring this out right now but i think that this setup is going to work for me especially for someone that isn't interested in doing like two sources of audio or anything for this and why does this thing not want to freaking open well we'll just cut you in half then because you're freaking glued onto it Ugh. i don't care about any of this and oh already dropped my camera <laughs> so far seems undamaged no it is not undamaged wow look at that guys chip the lens right there you guys see that this is also a reason why I bought this other piece that I'm going to show you because I'm riding a motorcycle. Rocks, things are going to hit it, I'm going to drop it. And they don't give you a case anymore with your GoPro. I mean, they give you this skeleton case and they say that this thing is waterproof and it's supposed to be fine, but nothing's really protecting it like it did before. So let's go ahead and detach this guy. Who is this? Whose dog? Whose dog is this? Um, yeah, so if you guys are fine with not using a case, then so be it, but I already fucked it up in the first like minute that I've owned this thing. Let's see what else comes in this package. Probably some really, really basic stuff, right? Your freaking instruction booklet, some stickers. What else is in here? Curved sticky mount. That's good, I always love using these. Flat mount, this I don't use very often battery charging cable anything else in here no nope, that's about it so moving on to the next piece of kit that i want to show you this is something that gopro should have included right out of the box like they did with all the other gopros in history i mean i don't know why you wouldn't want a protective case for your gopro but here's one i just picked up off of amazon for like $15 shipped to me um, if you're gonna be using this as they intend you to be using it as an action camera you guys already saw it's already like freaking messed up from falling three feet onto a tiled kitchen floor imagine what's gonna happen if you're actually gonna be using it how they advertise it to be used and also these things are like $400 GoPro you guys can be a little bit better than just keeping like giving you two mounts no memory cards basically you are you, you're not giving anyone anything. You're, you're playing the accessory game. People are going to have to buy this and other mounts to actually use it, but that is enough from me. So let's check out this clear housing right here. It's very, very similar to the old GoPro setups, I believe. Fits in there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, latch. Latch on the back. Latch is on the back. There you go. Now we're going to be completely protected. Um, yeah, so it shouldn't be as bad as it was before. I'm going to actually be able to use this as a motor vlogger motorcycle camera without damaging the lens, without effing up the screen that's on the back of the new GoPros. All right, so we're going to run into the same issue with having a housing on here as we did with the old GoPros is that the microphone jack goes into here. All right, now here's the new microphone adapter from GoPro. This thing is what people get hung up a lot around doing their motor vlogger setup is that the mic, the mic adapter now is freaking gigantic. You see how big this thing is? I think I'm gonna be able to solve it though um, with the use of some Velcro tape that I have here. And hopefully I'll be able to attach it to the back of this. I can take it on and off as I wish to actually take it on and off and still use the screen inside my GoPro because it's not gonna be taped onto here like permanently. It's just gonna be on the back of this flap that's gonna open back and forth. You see where I'm going with this, guys? I've heard that this door can be actually removed. Let me go ahead and try to take this thing off right now. It's just, if you guys can see that, it's just like kind of hinged, popped in there. I think you just pull it, pull it out. There you go, pops right off. You can still pop it back in there, so it's not gonna damage anything. But now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and drill a hole in the case 
for the actual mic adapter, just as we did before. All right guys, so now I have the hole drilled right here. You can see that the mic adapter will fit in any direction up or down. Um, and now I'm just going to Velcro this onto the back of this piece right here and fit it to my helmet. The type of scotch that I'm using right here is this double-sided, extremely strong, 10 pounds. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. I got it from Amazon, it's like $4. I've been using this for other mic setups too. The good thing about this Velcro is that it's not the, it's not like the fuzzy type, um, it's, it's the hard plastic type. So if you're taking it on or off, it locks in there and it doesn't get weaker as you open and close. Now I have this, I'll be able to open and close my GoPro. I'll be able to take it out. I'll be able to still use the screen. Whenever I need to actually use the screen, this is securely uh, attached to the actual case. And then this, the Velcro pieces should come on and off. I'm just gonna let it set right now because I just taped it on there. So I really want them, those two pieces to actually come together and let the glue set. So now let's go ahead and mount it to my actual helmet. This is the old bracket that I had been using with my old GoPro. And you guys can see it's just a number of arms that are just bent together. I put these white out indexing spaces right here so I can always get a consistent angle when the camera's connected to my helmet. This, this is my actual mic that I do. It's a 3.5 inch lapel mic. Um, I'll show you guys it in here. Like this is how it sits in my helmet. This is the intercom helm, the microphone. Back here, you guys see that one here? I don't know, the lighting is probably horrible. You see that? That's like a $3 mic. That's what I actually use when I do all my moto vlogs. Again, I'm like a basic bitch. I'm not going to be doing like syncing up two different sources of audio for all that kind of stuff. No, I just like to go ahead and plug my shit right in. So there it goes. And now we should be good. And that should be it, boys, without having to make any big modifications or setups next to what I did with my old GoPro 3. This is a really simple, clean setup for a helmet. So let's go ahead, take it outside, and see how this thing actually performs. Well, it is hot today. A good time to test out the GoPro 5, see how things are coming through. Obviously, I don't know if the audio is coming in well or not right now. Hopefully everything is working as it should be. This is more or less a sound and video angle check. I did notice that on this GoPro Hero 5, it does have something called like super view, which I may try out. It seems like to just spread out the view even like even a wider lens, but it made it very, very focused in the center, like super fisheye looking type of image. So I don't know if I want that in my videos right now, but it's in there. I'll probably end up trying it. It was actually kind of cool. Another thing that I noticed when I was trying to set up the angle on my GoPro is that the helmet was actually moving around within the frame of the picture. I, I don't know if you guys like know what that means or not, but basically in the past, when I set my GoPro up, helmet does not move. Like the, the side of the helmet view that you actually see, right, the frame of the side on the left-hand side, my helmet does not move but on this one the actual helmet was moving along with like the environment around me and i heard that this thing has some weird stability auto stability feature and maybe that's what it was that's doing that but i never seen a gopro do that before until until this one that i have now so i'm i'll be interested in seeing like what it does but hopefully this audio is coming in all good I don't know, again, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and see. This GoPro 5 actually weighs a little bit more. It's a little bit more bulky than the actual 4 or 3 were. But that's okay, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's not like something that I'm really gonna notice on my head very much. Except for if I just like let my head rest, eh, eh, just pull off a little bit on that right hand side. So hopefully guys, this video is helpful. We'll let you know how it actually ends up turning out. Again, I won't know until I get back 
and start editing stuff and start listening to the audio but this is for so far what I can figure the simplest way to set up a GoPro 5 on a motorcycle helmet. So until next time guys, I will talk to you later. Oh, bye bye! What are you guys still doing here? Click that subscribe button. It's not gonna hurt you. Go ahead. Click it right here. Go on. Keep doing it here. Click now!